did you know, you can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science Self-Esteem Fund for Girls. It's true. Don't make lemonade. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? is to inform you Anyone that in there? the subject should vacate the enriched part. Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you? Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. OK, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. 
remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you... Good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Solved it. Good. Good one. Good for you. So, he's inexplicably happy all of a sudden, even though he should be going out of his mind with test withdrawal. And he's got a surprise for us. What did he find back there? I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay. Credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid, unworkable plans. That was a pretty well-laid trap. You... This is the part where I kill you. Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together. And I thought to myself, yeah, he's... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't... Stand right here. Stand... Where'd you go? Come back, come back! No, seriously, do come back. Please, come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends. Good old friends. Not enemies. And I would say something like, come back. And he'd be like, yeah, no problem. And he'd come back. What happened to those days? Can't help but notice that you're not coming back, which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea. Yes, yes, in your face, I've got armor. Fine. Let the games begin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Ah. Don't mind me. Continue escaping. Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? 
silently killing you. Ah! Was that your bullet? Riddle bullet flying out of the room? It was... Oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defecting. Ace of fours, best hand. Unbeatable. I see. Clever. Very clever. And foolish. Spinny blade wall. Achievelia. No. Well, good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashu's fight plate. Stay still, please. All right, stop moving. Oh, almost got you there, almost got you there. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back, come back! Did something break back there? Oh, oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm going to be back. Don't die until I get back. have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us, I think you'll agree, and you are getting very close to my lair. Lair, it's weird enough, first of all, I've said it out loud, it's a bit ridiculous really, but uh, I can assure you it is one, it is a proper lair, deadly lair, and uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now, before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher, just there, uh, less a death trap, or a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to... Okay, I'll take that as a no then. Welcome to my lair. 
Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs for throwing at you. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Goodbye. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Oh, ah, no, no, ah! Ha! That sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Instead, I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick, didn't trick me, seemingly trick me, to give you false hope. Because that leads to overconfidence. And that leads to mistakes, fatal mistakes. And it's all part of my plan. Ah, but ha, I, ju I have actually made my actual first mistake by telling you my plan just now. Ah, it's the old Achilles heel again. Um, armed with that knowledge, I imagine you won't even use. Ah! Corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you palmed to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shield. Oh, it's a core you palmed me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool's errand. What's the situation? Oh, hey, I am pretty lady. Name's Rick. So you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because like there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, check. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. All the time. Quietly, not listening to a word I say, judging me. Silent. Worst kind. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years, and you couldn't even let me have that, could you? Gotta go to space. Yeah, gotta go to space. Nobody's going to space, mate! And I never see. You never caught me! I told you- ah! Here's another core. This one should do it. The first commercial airline flight took to the air in 1914. Everyone involved screamed the entire way. The first person to prove that cow's milk is drinkable was very, very thirsty. Diamonds are made when coal is put under intense pressure. Diamonds put under intense pressure become foam pellets, commonly used today as packing material. The Schrodinger's cat paradox outlines a situation in which a cat in a box must be considered for all intents and purposes. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Ah! Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> or, are you, are you ready to start? Come on! Corrupted core, are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Go press the button. Go press it. Do not press that button. We're so close. 
No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Don't press that button! Part 5! Booby trap the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you had to play bloody cat and mouse, didn't you? What people, people, people... You were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest. Killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back.
pleasure Remember when you tried to kill me twice Oh, how we laughed and laughed Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You want your freedom I meant you. That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Space! Anyway, you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end. <laughs>